Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion with regards to hyperbola. Last time, we had a video in which I do have the introductory video for the hyperbola and we also discussed the different parts of it and even the properties of hyperbola. And at the end of it, the graph tayo ng isang hyperbola in which uh, the center of the hyperbola is located at the origin. And this time, we will continue our discussion about that na magiging focus natin ngayon is on how to graph hyperbola wherein the center is at the origin. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here a quick video. I will be quick about this tutorial. So we have here two different uh, hyperbolas or equation of parabola x squared over 9 minus y squared over 16 is equal to 1 and we have y squared is over 36 minus x squared over 34, uh, 64 is equal to 1. And as you can see, this format based on the video, itong format ng equation nito, ang center nito is at the origin. Okay? Yung center niya ay nasa 0, 0. Ngayon, let's start with item number 1. Okay? So, ang kailangan naman natin dito guys to graph a parabola, a hyperbola rather, is to get the center. We have the uh, vertices. We do have the foci. And yung ating equation ng mismo asymptotes natin. Now, since I mentioned earlier that the center is at the origin, Automatic, guys, the coordinates of your center is at 0, 0. And sir, how about the vertices and the foci? And for us to, able, to be able to get the coordinates of this, these things, kailangan natin makuha yung value ng A, B, and C. Okay? So, guys, let me remind you, ah. Yung A squared natin is always at the denominator of the positive term. Kahit anong variable pa is it? y or x as well as the term is positive that is your a squared and here your a squared is equal to 9 your a squared is equal to 9 to get the value of a again get the square root of it get the square root of it and tada your a is equal to 3 okay that's that's quick guys now let's move on with letter b sure if this is your a this is your letter b Yung B mo, yung B squared mo, is equal to 16. Okay? Now, to get the value of B, same process, extract the square root. So, this is B. Your B is equal to 4. By the way, guys, yung A natin sa B natin is always positive because we talks about, it talks about the distance. Now, continue natin. Let's move on to letter C. Para makuha natin C, we need to use the formula c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared and to get that you have here c squared is equal to 9 plus 16 wherein when you add them the answer c squared is equal to 25 and to get c extract the square root your c is equal to 5 now sir how can you identify the value, uh, the coordinates of your vertices and foci given the value of A, B, and C? Ngayon guys, ang next step naman natin dito is to know paano ba yung orientation of our hyperbolas or hyperbola? Is it a vertical, where in the up, a vertical, where in the opening is up or down? Or is it horizontal, where in the opening is going to the left, and going to the right. Now, dito kasi, if your x variable is the positive term, automatic, guys, your hyperbola opens to the left and right. Or in other words, horizontal yung kanyang orientation. So, paano ngayon yung ating, ano, paano ngayon yung ating vertices? As for the vertices, that is simply 
positive negative a comma zero. If this is the case, getting the value of a, your vertices are negative three comma zero, and okay, let me erase na rin this para di mo gusto natin space. That is negative three comma negative positive. Okay, we need space, guys. Negative or positive negative three comma zero. Pero dalawa ng counts niyan, guys. One is 3, 0 and the other is negative 3, 0. And so how about the foci? As for the foci, yung ating general form o yung pattern natin dito is positive negative C, 0. As you can see, the value of our C is 5. Therefore, yung ating foci dito is positive negative 5, 0. Again, two counts yan, guys. Two counts. So let's start. Paano ba natin sisimulan ito? Una, gawa mo na tayo ng triangle for, for us to guide up, uh, uh, for our guide to draw our asymptotes. Ngayon, sa ano pong gagamitin natin para mapag-draw tayo ng ating, uh, ng ating um, rectangle? You will use the value of A, where in, that is 3. So, movement natin from the center, this is your center, 0, 0. We will move 3 units to the left and to the right. So that is 1, 2, and 3. And this is 1, 2, and 3. Tapos, we will get the value of B. This is your B. We're in. From the center, move tayo ng 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. At 4 units dito. 1, 2, 3, 4. So pag nag-draw kayo ng rectangle, Parang ito na yung magsisiping dimensions, yung pinuntaan natin. So, I will draw here a rectangle. Kailangan sakto tayo, guys. Yan. As well as here, nakapag-drawing din tayo ng ating rectangle. Okay. Dito din. Yung sobra, burahin nyo na lang, guys. Dito din. Okay. I hope na hindi ko na mag-block ang inyong, ano, ang inyong vision. Ang inyong visual. Yan. Let me erase this. Tapos, after doing that, uh, consider mo na Pagkakuha ng diagonal, gamit yung corner ng rectangles na meron tayo. So, we will draw diagonals here and we will extend it. Ito na yung magsisibi nating asymptotes. Okay. Yan. And as for the second asymptote, ano tayo? Okay. Draw natin yung ating hyperbola. Yan. Sorry, hindi magiging pantay, pero you can extend it, guys, if you want. Now, ito yung asymptotes natin, guys. Ngayon, ang next step natin is to draw or to plot the coordinates of your vertices and the foci. Actually, guys, itong part na to, this is your vertex number 1, which is, this is negative 3, 0. And this one is your vertex number 2, V sub 2. Okay, this is your V sub 2, wherein the coordinates are 3, 0. Now, you can, uh, gamit yung ating, uh, yung ating vertices, we can draw a hyperbola. Pwede tayo mag-draw. Pero dapat ano ha, yung hyperbola natin, it will not touch the asymptote. So, ito, draw tayo. Yan. Hindi siya ganun perfect pero I hope na ma-appreciate niyo yung super ganda kong drawing. Yan. Dito naman sa kabila, same time yung gagawin. Drawing tayo dito. Yan. And as you can see, yung orientation ng ating hyperbola ay horizontal wherein nag-open siya sa left at right. Next step na gagawin natin dito is to plot the foci. Siyempre yung foci natin is inside the hyperbola. Uh, since ito ay negative 3, mag-add na tayong dalawang units and this is 
uh, your focus number 1, for f sub 1, the coordinates are negative 5, comma 0. And dito naman, yung f sub 2, in which that is 5, comma 0. And lastly, let's move on to the, baka natin sa inyo, ano, yung equation ng asymptote. As for the asymptote, yung ating asymptote, ang kanyang format ito, ha, uh, y is equal to positive negative b over a, x. Para kapag ganyan, kapag yung inyong hyperbola ay nag-open ng horizontal. So dito, gamitin natin yung positive. So this is y is equal to b, your b is 4, over your a, which is 3, and then x. Ito ang mismo equation. And as for the other asymptote, that is y is equal to negative 4 over 3, x. That's it guys. Diba? Uh, ang time natin na is all about, ano, uh, it's about 10 minutes na may get. Diba? Kanina kasi umabot ako ng, ano, ayun na lang ng video, umabot ako ng uh, 13 minutes sa isang graph or may get pa. Okay, let's continue. Next time naman guys, ito. Ang given equation natin ay y squared over 36 minus x squared over 64 is equal to 1. So, again, kailangan natin vertices, which is, ah, sorry, at vertex. This is your center, for center muna. Your center is at 0, 0. And for the vertices, tapos yung ating focus. Ngayon naman guys, if yung inyong, eto kasi, eto kasi yung para hyperbola natin dito guys. Since yung y natin, again eto ha, your y is the positive term, yung ating hyperbola ay pag ganito, ang orientation nga ay vertical. Okay? Pa-vertical siya. Ngayon, sir, paano bang itsura or ano mga coordinates ng vertices if the hyperbola is pa-vertical ang orientation? Ang kanyang um, vertices ay eto. Uh, zero, comma, positive negative A. Yung focus naman ay 0, comma, positive negative C. Ayun lang yung magiging pattern natin. Now let's start. Let us start finding the value of A. Okay? Yung A natin is always at the positive term. Ito, 36. So that is A squared is equal to 36. To get the value of A, get the square root, square root. And your A is equal to 6. Now let's move on to letter B. Sabi ko kasi yung mabilis lang tayo. For the b squared, ito siya, which is 64. Get the square root, get the square root, your b is equal to 8. And as for the value of c, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Your a squared is 36, so this is 36 plus 64, okay? So this is your um, c squared. Pag inadat na sila, that is c squared is equal to 100, get the square root, get the square root, your c is equal to 10. Ngayon, if meron tayong a, b, and c, we can identify the vertices. For the vertices, guys, ito na siya, palitan mo lang ito. Yung a mo is 8, ah, uh, sorry, 6. So the coordinates of the vertices are 0, positive negative 6. And as for the focus, Yung sin y10, that is 0, okay? 0, comma, positive negative 10. Now, we're ready. We are ready to find the value of your... Um, to start, or rather, to start graphing. First, we will use the value of a, okay? Again, as for the value of a, paano ba gagawin natin dito? Mm. Ito yung vertices natin, ha? Eh? Yung value ng A natin ay nandito. So, we will start here, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Tayo. Kasi yung orientation natin, di ba? And then, mag-move tayo ng 6 units baba. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Tapos, yung value ng ating B, which is A, mag-move naman tayo from center to left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ito siya. Okay? Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. Since meron tayo, we can draw 
the rectangle see so we will draw a rectangle let's be quick here Okay, bear with me guys. Medyo matrabaho, pero subukan natin mas mabilis tayo sa pag-graph. Dito naman, sa baba. Let's try this. Tapos pag ito naman. Okay. Tanggalin ko ngayon sobra, sobra. And this time here. Gawa tayo dito eh. Yan. Now, since we are done with the rectangle, pwede tayong gumawa ng ating asymptote. Okay, for the asymptote, ito. Draw lang tayo itong diagonal. Sana magkasya yung ating hyperbola. Ito na yan, gawa tayo ng ating diagonal dito. Yan, yung ating asymptote. Now, pwede tayong start guys sa pag-graph natin. Mukhang hindi kakasya guys. Ito ha, start tayo. I uh, will draw the hyperbola. Yan, dapat din niya matouch. Yan. Dito rin sa kabila. Okay. Tapos yung ating, oh, ito rin vertex natin. Ito yung V sub 1, which is ang kanyang coordinates. Ay, that's not, ah, sorry. This is not the hyperbola. My fault guys. Ang orientation nga pala natin ay pataas. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. We will draw here. Yung ating hyperbola ay pala nito. Okay. Okay. Ito lang sa kabila, pala nito siya. Kasi natin. Isa, pag ito siya. Dapat medyo malapit siya sa asinto, pero pinagkakasya lang natin siya. Yan. Now, ito yung vertex mo. Okay, this is your vertex. V sub 1, this is your V sub 2, wherein the coordinates are um, 0, 6. Ito naman ay 0, negative, negative 6. And for the focus, 0, negative 10. Um, ito yung 10. 7, 8, 9, 10. Saka 0, comma, positive, ah, 0, comma, positive 10. F sub, F sub 2. 0, comma, 10. Ito naman ay yung inyong ano. 7, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. This is your S sub 1. Pero pwede yan kahit magpalit sila. 0, comma, negative 10. Ito na guys. And lastly, as for... The equation of the asymptote, yun yung nakakita. As for the equation, ito may yung ating equation, guys. Yung format natin ay y is equal to negative, positive negative a over b, x. Okay, as for the asymptote, guys, ito na. Yung ating asymptote dito ay ito. Para dito, ang kanyang equation, again, sana makita nyo ito, ay y is equal to, positive tayo, ah, your a is equal to 6 over your b, which is 8. So, ito ay magiging 3 fourths. 3 over 4 x. Sa kabila naman, this is y is equal to negative 3 over 4 x. And guys, medyo napahaba pa rin yung ating video but still, uh, it is less than 20 minutes. So, yun guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa business video natin on how to graph hyperbola. Na ang orientation ay horizontal and the other is or vertical. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!